Hi, I'm Queen Yu from Bullet Point News. Joining me is Rafael Morales, who began his career as an engineer and then turned to his primary passion, math education. His goal has always been to demystify math and show students how to achieve success in a positive confidence building way. Rafael, welcome to Bullet Point News. Thank you, Queenie. Thank you for having me. Thanks for joining us, Rafael. So April is Mathematics and Statistics Awareness Month and a time to raise awareness and appreciation for these fields. Why is it important that we do this? Well, because uh, statistics is in everything, in everything, in every aspect of our lives, we'll see a statistics, whether you, you recognize it or we recognize it or not, in medicine, in what, uh, in psychology, in the sociology, in, in engineering, and in everything, pretty much. There's a statistics and mathematics. So, yeah. Why is math education your passion? Um, precisely that, actually. I realized that, that math is, is even in, in language. Um, the way that, that, um, that language develops is just in tones and rhythms and every single language in the world has some math in it. It's just even in the rhythm of, of words. They say music is math and math is music, right? So <laughs> yeah, I think that that was the that was the, the main reason for it. I've also, always been passionate about it. Yeah. What sorts of things can parents, educators, mentors, and other members of the community do to help bring about a greater understanding and appreciation for math and statistics? I, I that is a very good question. Um, I wish I wish it was from very early age. Uh, students will work more in their math. Why? Because they can. Um, I feel that the education system is is slowing students down. Um, uh, for an, an example, we say that that toddlers are like sponges. That is a great time to teach them about number sense. We're failing on that. And most parents are failing on that because just, just there's, they, they don't know. They don't know. But uh, I truly believe that any child at that very early age can learn math the right way. So, so from very early age to get them to understand the importance of mathematics and, and what you can do with it. Most, most importantly, what is it that we as, as a society, we can do with numbers and the knowledge of numbers. Yeah. Give me an example of something you would teach a toddler. Uh, for example, the way that I, <laughs> I, I put my personal experience with my own daughter, uh, uh, and I talk, talk to parents about this all the time. When she was very little, when it was time to go to bed, I would just pick her up and I will just count initially by 10. And when it was time to, to get to the 10, I would just throw her in the bed. It was super fun for her. And it was just one way, one a very good way of getting her to go to bed at that time because she enjoyed that. And then I changed to uh, counting by twos. And she knew what the, was happening because I would go and two, four, Six and that way, and she knew by by the end of senior kindergarten, she knew her multiplication facts not through memorization, but through understanding. Yeah. If you could offer a piece of advice to students out there who may be struggling with math, what would it be? Come to mathnasium. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> And what would they learn at Mathnasium? So, so what we do is is very fun, foundational. Um, we take the students where where they are. So whether that is a student that is struggling, or a student that that is at level according to the school, um, the school that they are, or the class, or they are an enrichment student, we take them from where they are, and. So no matter what, our the challenge that we give the students is just right there. It's very attainable, but it's something. It's not something that, that is so easy for them that they are going to get bored, and not too hard for them. They are going to hate it. So it's just the right material because everything everything is individualized. Yeah. How can the average person 
celebrate Mathematics and Statistics Awareness Month. You know what? This this month should be the the month that that um, because because we're talking about ChatGPT. You know, everybody's talking about ChatGPT and uh, yeah and uh, artificial intelligence and everything that that great things are are happening and and everything is changing. Well, that the basis of ChatGPT is just a statistical analysis. There's nothing else to it. It's a large amount of data and just working with the, the statistics of those words and just putting them based on probability. So, so it is it is one of those things that uh, we say it is right there. Yeah. And at Mathnasium, what are you doing to celebrate uh, the, the month? We celebrate math every day. <laughs> we ce we're celebrating math every day here. So we make it we make it fun for the kids. Every single success we make it very fun. So the kids know here that um, the importance of math and how fun is to to succeed at math. Uh, how fun is to get to an answer that before you were not able to to do very quickly or with the use of a calculator. Now they can do like really good operations, really good math, just mentally and very quickly and and efficiently. Yeah. How do you make make how do you make math fun for kids? So precisely, um, we say that that kids don't hate math. What they hate is being confused by it. So kids are will or every single kid starts enjoying it once they're not confused, once everything is clear. So they can just do oh, I can do this very quickly and that there's enjoyment on that besides that we just make it fun <laughs> we have games and and math games and logic games and and we have challenges and and raffles and uh rewards so so we have a very good system of making making not only learning fun but coming to the center very fun rafael thank you so much for joining us at bullet point news today no thank you for having me